We're back with Illinois congressional candidate Latisa Wallace. You've served in the state legislature. You ran for a statewide office in a Democratic primary, as we mentioned earlier. What do you take away from the experience, all of that experience, that helps you in this race? Well, you know, as a, as a legislator, I was able to get many things done, passing um, over 40 pieces of legislation that I personally introduced and then supporting many, many more. Again, doing so with the Republican governor and, and having those measures become law. Um, I learned during my run for lieutenant governor all the, the wonderful uh, people, communities, and families that are throughout our state. And again, people aren't really always worried about a political label or partisanship. People are worried about the things that they speak about at their dinner table at night. They're worried about how do we make sure that we have a steady job, uh, a livable wage, keeping roofs over our heads, keeping clothing on our children's back. Um, some of us worry about our aging parents. You know, so that uh, experience of being able to go throughout the state, all geographies of the state, rural, uh, urban, rural, suburban, metropolis, and being able to talk to people um, really provided me with so much insight as to how our state wants uh, policy to, what our, poli what our state wants policy to look like. And it has also taught me, again, that people are focused on those things that they're talking about at their dining room table every night. And that is what I'll focus on, helping families thrive. How do you respond to detractors who might say that you've been part of the Democratic political machine in Illinois and not bring fresh ideas to Washington? That's, you know, a wonderful point of, of I guess, difference. I would say that what I would bring to a perspective in Washington, D.C. is the fact that, again, I know what it's like to be a working class family. I know what it's like to, to worry about how you're going to make ends meet. There are very few people from uh, the field of counseling and social work who are in the congressional uh, body. And we know as professionals from my vocation, that there are so many more policies that we can advance to help, again, families thrive and also improve the quality of life for individuals. So, you know, I don't think that you have to be in alignment with a particular party stance to be able to push forth things that families and communities need. Without getting into too, me too much detail, what would be your top three priorities if elected? Well, I'm certainly very much supportive of the Human Services Infrastructure Program or the Build Back Better plan. Making sure that there's access to universal early childhood education is one thing that will make our society so much greater as those children um, being exposed to those opportunities tend to go on and do wonderful things. And so I would definitely be supportive of that. I believe that we do need to take a look at accessibility to health care. We have to protect uh, the Affordable Care Act and be able to creatively think of ways to expand individuals' opportunity to access their right of having health care. And, and one thing that we don't talk about very often, but it is driving the backbone of many communities' economies right now, or certainly uh, families' ability to take care of themselves, and that's the gig economy. We have all of these opportunities to you know, work, trade our skills and our time for earned pay, but there are also very little protections when we're uh, working in you know, some of those gig type jobs. So I would really be supportive of those. And I'll add a fourth that I think is extremely important, and that is protecting the right to vote. We talked about the right to bear arms, but we have to really come up with a national solution and standard for people to all have access, unencumbered access, to their constitutional right to vote. We're a little tight on time with the. Uh Latisa Wallace. We're going to continue this conversation online for those of you watching at home. Tune in to check us online at ourquadcities.com.